Howdy boys and girls, today we're going to talk about electron orbitals. So this is kind of an introduction to electrons and where they live and kind of the space that they occupy. So let's talk about it. So we've got uh, electrons. Where do electrons live, by the way, in the atom? So electrons live, all of the electrons are in the electron cloud. Okay, this so it's this, like... Remember, lots of volume. Right. Not a lot of mass. So this, this cloud area is somewhere around here and this is like a nucleus. And then so the, all the electrons are kind of out in here somewhere. Yeah. So, but there's actually a very specific way that they arrange themselves in these clouds. There are four different types of orbitals is what we call mm -hmm. them. And this is where they live. So let's talk about those four different types of orbitals. Okay. First we have the S orbital. We have a P orbital, D and F. So they're just letter designations. And they all each have a different shape, uh, and they hold a different number of electrons. Yep. So should we talk about how many electrons they hold? Sure. Okay, so, so the S orbital holds two electrons, your smallest orbital. Okay. And your P orbital holds six. Okay, slightly more. Two, and so then the D orbital is then holds ten. Ten. This is the maximum number they can hold, by the way, two, six, and ten. And the F will hold up to fourteen electrons. Now there are different amounts of. Uh, there, there's not just one S orbital, one P, one D, and no. one F. There's a whole bunch of different ones, which we'll get into a little bit later. But um, this is. We just wanted to point out that there are different orbitals with different shapes. So something special here about the S and the P orbital. These are the orbitals that make up uh, what we call our valence electrons. And tell me a little bit about valence. So valence electrons are the electrons where the chemistry happens. Okay. So they're shared or transferred in reactions and they're the outermost. So they're the easiest to yes. get to. Okay, so we'll say these are the outermost electrons. Okay, so valence electrons we'll talk about a little bit more when we talk about things actually bonding to each other. Right. But uh, for now, that's it. The four main orbitals, how many electrons each orbital can hold uh, total. And uh, this will help you out a lot when we start talking about configuration. Sounds good.